Hello everyone, this is Code2J. Today I'm going to show you how to create DAG using Python operator. By watching this video, you will know how to run a Python function as a task, how to pass parameters to the Python function, and how to share values between different tasks. Sounds exciting? Let's get started. First, let's open our project folder in VS Code and check if Airflow is running by Docker PS. We can see the Airflow components are already up. If not, you can launch Airflow by command doc-compose up minus d and log in. Okay, we have running Airflow. Now let's go back to VS Code and create a Python file under the DAG folder called create underscore DAG underscore with underscore Python underscore operator dot py and open it. We have to first import the DAG package and create an instance of DAG using the with statement, of course. Let's create a default acts dictionary variable. Set code to J as the owner, retries equals to five and five minutes for each retrial. Of course, we have to import data time and time data packages. We then set the DAX default acts equals to our defined default act. Let's give our DAG with Python operator version 01 as the DAG ID and describe it as our first DAG using Python operator. Then we set the start date of the DAG to yesterday, 2021 October 6, and schedule it daily. Let's define a simple Python function that we want to run as a task. Let's name it as greet, which will print out a hello world string when it is executed. Okay, what's next? Let's create a task using Python operator to run our greet function. We have to import the Python operator module in the first place. Then we set the task ID to greet and basically pass our greet function name to the Python callable parameter. We are good to go. Let's go back to the browser and refresh our Airflow web server. We can see there's no error message and our DAG with Python operator version one DAG shows up. In the grab view, we can of course see that it has only one task named greet. Let's trigger the DAG and check the log of the task run. From the log, we can see that hello world has been printed out, which means our Python function indeed has been executed. In practice, we will use more complex Python functions with some parameters, for example. How do we pass the Python functions parameters using the Python operator? Let's go back to VS Code and update our greet function to take some parameters. We add name and age as the parameters and print out hello world. My name is name and I am age years old. In Python operator, there's a parameter called op keywords, which is a dictionary of keyword arguments that will get unpacked in the Python function. Let's set the name to Tom and set the age equals to 20. Update the version of our DAG and go back to the browser to refresh the Airflow web server. Let's trigger it and check its log. We found Hello world, my name is Tom and I am 20 years old has been printed out. That's great. 
our parameter values are passed successfully to our greet function using op keywords, you can basically pass all kinds of parameters that you defined in your Python function. We now know how to use Python operator to run our Python function and how to pass parameters to it. But can we share information between different tasks? Yes, we can achieve this using Airflow XCOMS. Basically, we can push information to XCOMS in one task and pull information in other tasks. By default, every function's return value will be automatically pushed into XCOMS. Let's go back to VS Code and create a new Python function called get underscore name. And we simply return Jerry as the name. Then we build a new task using Python operator to run it. Let's set its task ID equals to get underscore name. Python callable is get underscore name. We comment out task one and update the version of our DAC, of course. Let's refresh the Airflow web server, select the newest DAC and trigger it. In the log, we can see a line called done. Returned value was Jerry. Then we go to admins and xcoms. The return value of our function get underscore name has been pushed to xcoms. Let's go back to VS Code to pull the name Jerry in our greet function using xcom pull. Let's delete the name parameter and add ti which is the task instance since export can only be called by ti. Let's pull the name by typing name equals ti dot xcoms underscore pull and we have to set the task IDs equals to get underscore name. Basically to pull the return value of task with ID get name. We have to also uncommon the task one, remove the name parameter in the op keywords and build the dependency, namely task one is the task two's downstream, since we should first push and then pull the name. Update the DAC version and refresh the page. Trigger the DAC and check our log. Oops, we faced some issues. Let's see exactly what error is. The log says task instance has no attribute xcoms underscore pool. I think the pool function should be xcom underscore pool. Let's go back to VS Code to change it. Okay, refresh again and clear the first try of the greet task. Wait a second since it will run the greet task again. This time, it is executed successfully. Let's check the log again. We can see, hello world, my name is Jerry. I'm 20 years old. Name Jerry has been pulled successfully. Let's also check the xcoms. We can also see Jerry as the value and return value as the key. What if we want to push multiple values into xcoms? in one function. Can we distinguish them? Of course, yes. Let's go back to VS Code. And this time, we need to push first name and last name into xcoms. We have to first add task instance in our getName function and remove the return statement. Then we call ti.xcompush function by giving a key and value with first name and Jerry. 
Then we push our last name by calling it again with last name as the key and Friedman as the value. Now let's pull those values in our greet function. We have to call the xcom pool function, of course. Apart from giving get name to the task IDs, we have to tell it which key of the values to pull. Obviously, we put the first name from the key first name and last name from last name. Let's modify our print message to include first name and last name. Update the version of our DAG and save it. Refresh the browser and trigger it. Let's check the log. Boom! Our pushed name Jerry Friedman was included in the printout message. Let's double check the XCOMs. We can see that the pushed first name and last name have been distinguished by their unique key value. Let's also quickly update our code to get age via XCOMs instead of op keywax. We create another function called get age with task instance parameter. In the function body, we just push an age value 19 with age as the key. We then create a task for our get age function with Python operator with task ID of get age. Then we remove the op keywax of task one since we want to pull the age. Let's update the greet function by removing the age parameter and pull the age value via xcom pull with the key of age and the task IDs equals to get age. Update the task dependencies by adding the task 3 to the upstream of task 1. Then we update the version of our DAG and refresh the browser, triggering the DAG. From the log and xcoms, we can see all three values have been pushed and pulled successfully. Although it is very handy to use xcoms to share value between tasks, you should be aware that the maximum size of xcoms is only 48 kilobytes. Yes, you heard me right. It's 48 kilobytes, not megabyte or gigabyte. We can confirm this from the source code of Airflow XCOM. So never use XCOMs to share large data, for example, Pandas data frame, otherwise it will crash. That's it. You have learned how to create a DAG using Python operator, how to pass parameters into a Python function, use op keywax, how to share values between different tasks via XCOMs, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please subscribe and click the like button. If you have any questions, feel free to write in the comment section. And last but not least, which topics do you want to see in the next Airflow video? Please share it in the comment section. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye bye.